Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary and Reaver. This time I'm showing you the updated Coke oven, because the previous video is out of date. So, for this you will need sand and bricks. You need to place them like this, so with the sand in a cross shape and the bricks in a diamond shape. And to create a Coke oven, you need 26 Coke oven bricks which totals 104 bricks and 130 sand. When you have your coke oven brick, you have to place it in a very special way. You place it in a 3x3 three three square as the first layer, a hollow square like that in the second layer, and then another 3x3 three three square for the top layer. So it is a cube with a hollow centre, and you know it's done because this appears on the side. And then you can right click anywhere on the coke oven and it brings up this GUI. The way the coke oven works is you can put in wood or coal into this part and it will change it for free into either charcoal for any wood or coal coke for coal. It is a slow process, it takes three minutes to change anything. It's generally focused around increasing the fuel potential of the item you're cooking. If you put wood into the coke oven, and any of the woods are interchangeable, and switching between them doesn't affect the progress because they're all considered one item, it produces charcoal. So it's a free way of changing your wood into charcoal if you're desperate for fuel. The result of coal being put into the coke oven is coal coke, which effectively doubles the fuel output of coal. In vanilla furnaces it'll burn for 16 items, and in the iron furnace it'll burn for 20. Here it has also produced creosote oil in liquid form, whereas previous ones created it as an item, a creosote oil item, this creates it as a liquid which can then be extracted. When at capacity the coke oven can hold 64 buckets worth of creosote oil, which is four times that of a Billcraft tank. If it fills up, it stops functioning and must be emptied, or at least some space made, before it will continue burning things. To remove creosote oil, you must place either a bucket or a glass bottle in the top part of this little section here. So you place it there, and it fills it and removes that amount from the oven. They both hold the same amount, however, creosote bottles are stackable, but when using them in crafting, you don't get to keep the bottle. Note that if you want to make a lot of rails, you will need multiple coke ovens to provide enough creosote oil. Although note that there must be at least one space between complete coke ovens for them to function. A final note is that you shouldn't use coke oven brick for decoration. Any incomplete coke ovens repeatedly send out signals searching to check if it has been completed yet, and a lot of them will produce a lot of lag. Thank you for watching, if you have any requests please send me a YouTube comment and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Also, if you have any requests not to do with the Technic Pack, please let me know. Catch you later.